We are so fortunate in Shetland to have so many folk with creative ideas using what we have, the natural produce, a passionate population that are able to produce and celebrate all that is there and sell it to the world. So within Shetland at the moment, we have bakers, we have butchers, the brewery, gin distillery, and then we have small businesses creating chutneys, confectionery, baking, restaurants, cafes, hotels, that are proud of what they are able to source and really try in clever ways to put on a, a Shetland menu that shines a light on the best of the produce that we've got. The dairy is something that, that we really, really value and it produces three grades of milk, butter, types of cream and also buttermilk. We buy in nine plastic milk containers, um, even for our coffee, and that wouldn't be possible if we didn't have the local dairy on our doorstep. We want it to be a hub of Shetland's finest produce where you could come in and you could get everything for your larder. That includes your neeps, your tatties, your milk, your fish, your breed, all your essentials that you can come on the street like it used to be. Recently we had four days when the boat didn't come and of course the two major supermarkets that operate in Shetland do not carry stock so the shelves were empty at the end of day one. But of course in Shetland we are fortunate because the length and breadth of Shetland we have small independent shops that serve the communities because they know that this bad weather is coming and they plan ahead. If we keep supporting and shopping local where food and drink producers can keep Shetland supplied with great food. Shetland Food and Drink is very proud of our members and the range of products that they produce and services that they offer. And there's lots of opportunity for that because we have such excellent natural resources already. We would love to hear from folk with new ideas that we could help to promote and develop in order to help businesses to expand and flourish.